Hi, let me quickly walk you through the top features and improvements in WPML 4.7. From the go, we designed this version to help you get better translations with less effort. Let's dive in. First, we completely redesigned the translation dashboard. It is now a single unified page for translating your entire site. Look, here's the translation dashboard of the live WPML.org site, which is huge, with thousands of posts and pages. We also have a lot of different types of content. WPML 4.7 makes it easy to see all content types at a glance with a separate section for each type. If I wanted to translate something specific, let's say an FAQ article, I would just expand the FAQ section and select what I need. But now I want to translate a few posts, so I close this and scroll back to posts. After selecting the posts I need, I scroll down to step two, which shows an estimated word count and allows me to select how to translate my content. I'll use automatic translation for all languages. I can also select whether to review the automatic translations after they're done. In this case, I'm using WPML AI, so I don't need the review and can start the translations. Now, even on huge sites like WPML.org, finding and translating content is easy. Next, let me show you how straightforward it is now to translate text from themes and plugins on your site. You'll find a new section for this in the translation dashboard, but it also comes with a crucial new feature. As you probably know, you don't need to translate all the strings in your site. Only those that you can see are missing translations. To do this, simply visit your site's front end in a secondary language and find the untranslated strings. In this case, I have this button here. And some untranslated text in the footer. As you do this, WPML automatically identifies the strings and adds them to your list. So, simply return to the translation dashboard, and you will now be able to find your strings and send them for translation. By default, the translation dashboard displays items that are not completed. And in the other text section, you can now filter to see only text that you viewed on the front end. WPML notices all strings that you visit so that you don't have to waste time on identifying them yourself. Because of this, you can safely select all these front end strings and send them for translation. Let's check the front end. And there it is. One of the top requests for the advanced translation editor was to allow editing paragraphs as one big segment. And this is exactly what you can do now. A paragraph is no longer divided into sentences, but you can translate it as a whole, as one item for better context and streamlined workflow. But that's not all. The Advanced Translation Editor now groups related fields and mirrors the WordPress layout, making translations more intuitive. Here you can see how nicely custom fields from the ACF plugin are grouped for easy translation and better context. And as another example, it's the same for fields from the Yoast SEO plugin. Using a glossary is crucial for getting accurate translations adapted to your content and your needs. But when you update your glossary, how do you also update your existing content to adapt to the changes? No problem, WPML can now handle all that for you. Simply click the button to update existing translations and let WPML do its magic. Finally, WPML 4.7 enhances compatibility with top WordPress plugins and provides a better, faster translation experience. Our team also made sure that all WPML add-ons take full advantage of the new features, so make sure to update all WPML compatibility add-ons that your site is using. And that's it. Share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section of the announcement post, which we link to in the description of this video. We're looking forward to hearing from you.